Thevenin's theorem says that no matter how big or complex an electric circuit is, that is, all the batteries, voltage sources, current sources, and resistors that are connected to the part we care about, which we call the load, can be replaced with a single voltage source and a single resistor like this. We represent this single voltage source with VTH and single resistor as RTH. This RL is the load resistance across which we want to find the voltage or current using the simpler Thevenin circuit. Let us solve some examples. For the first example, consider the following circuit. Left battery has 10 volts, where this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. This resistor is 1 ohm, this is 2 ohms, and this vertical resistor is 4 ohms. Finally, we have a right battery which is equal to 20 volts, where this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal. We want this 2 ohm resistor to be our load for this problem. So this will be our equivalent Thevenin circuit, and we want to find the value of this VTH, then RTH, and current flowing through this 2 ohms load. Okay, so label this point as A and this as B. So as a first step, we'll find this VTH, or the Thevenin voltage. To do so, we remove the 2 ohm load resistor and find the voltage across points A and B, which will be VTH. We also call it an open circuit voltage because we have opened the circuit here, and the circuit here is not connected anymore. Now, consider the left loop. Let a current I1 flow through this 10 volt source, like this, starting from the positive terminal. This current will come at this intersection, but it will not pass through this second loop because remember, we have removed the load and this circuit is open, which means it is not connected. So all the current will flow through this vertical resistor or 4 ohms. Therefore, this 1 ohm resistor and the vertical resistor or 4 ohms are in series. So total resistance equals 1 plus 4 or 5 ohms and voltage is 10 volts. So current I1 equals voltage over resistance or 10 over 5 or 2 amperes. This entire lower line or wires are at same voltage because there is no resistance here. Let us say they are at zero voltage. We can use any number here, but because zero is simple for calculations, hence we use zero. Now because of this voltage, since there is a positive terminal here, thus we will see a rise in voltage of 10 volts. Hence if this is at zero volt, then this terminal will be at 10 volts, right? Now we know that the resistors act as a voltage thief, who always tries to snatch some volts from your pocket as you pass through it in the direction of the current. The amount of that voltage is I times R, which for this case will be 2 times 1 or 2 volts. So we will see a drop of 2 volts at this terminal when compared to this. Thus the voltage at this terminal will be 10 minus 2 or 8 volts. Now look at this wire. We have 0 volts here. Now because of this voltage source, since there is a positive terminal here, thus we will see a rise in voltage of 20 volts. Hence, if this is at 0 volt, then this terminal will be at 20 volts. Right? Great! So what is the difference between the voltage of these two terminals? It's 20 minus 8 or 12 volts, right? So VTH is 12 volts, and because we see a rise in voltage in this direction, therefore this will be a positive terminal and this will be negative. Keep in mind that A is at lower potential and B is at a higher potential. See, it was that simple. Next, we will find the Thevenin resistance, which is RTH. To do that, we deactivate all the independent source, which means we replace all the voltage sources with short circuits like this. Also, right now, we do not have any current source, but if we do have, then we simply make it open circuit while calculating the Thevenin resistance. As soon as we do that, you can see that we can move this 1 ohm resistor here. So we can clearly see that both these 1 ohm and 4 ohms resistors are in parallel. And thus we can find RTH using 1 over RTH equals 1 over 1 plus 1 over 4 
which equals 5 over 4. So, RTH equals 4 over 5 or 0.8 ohms, and that's it. If we show this as current IL going through the load, then its value will be voltage over total resistance. Thevenin resistance and load resistance are connected in series, and thus total resistance is RTH plus RL, or 2 plus 0.8 or 2.8, and voltage is 12 volts. So, IL equals 12 over 2.8 or 4.29 amperes, and that's it. This is how we solve a circuit using Thevenin's theorem. Next, let us consider this example. In this example, we also have a current source of 2 amperes like this. Then we have these four resistors and a voltage source of 12 volts, where this is the positive terminal. We want this 1 ohm resistor to be our load for this problem. So this will be our equivalent Thevenin circuit, and we want to find the value of this VTH, then RTH, and current flowing through this 1 ohm load. Okay, so label this point as A and this as B. So as a first step, we'll find this VTH, or the Thevenin voltage. To do so, we remove the 1 ohm load resistor and find the voltage across points A and B, which will be VTH. Now, as we did earlier, it's better to write all these lower terminals as zero volt. Again, remember, it's not actually zero, but we take it as zero to simplify our calculations. Now, because of this voltage source, since there is a positive terminal here, thus we will see a rise in voltage of 12 volts. If this is at zero volt, then this terminal will be at 12 volts, right? Noise. If this is zero volt, and this is the Venin voltage VTH, then the voltage of this terminal will be VTH as well, right? Now we don't know how much drop of voltage there will be from this resistor, and thus let us call this terminal voltage as V. Now here comes the real magic, or I should rather say science. We will perform nodal analysis. First consider this node. Assume a current flows at this node from here like this and call it A for now. Then also assume we have some current, which flows like this and call it B for now. Now, if this is 2 amperes, then it means there is 2 amperes current here. So these two currents are the outgoing current, and this one is the incoming current. At any node, we know that the sum of all incoming currents equals the sum of all outgoing currents, isn't it? Therefore, we have A equals B plus 2. This is VTH, and then this 10 ohm resistor will take a commission of 10 times A voltage to give us V. So, VTH minus 10A equals V, or A equals VTH minus V over 10. Similarly, this is V. And then this 2 ohm resistor will take a commission of 2 times B voltage to give us this voltage, or 0. So, V minus 2, B equals 0, or B equals V, divided by 2. Substitute the values of A and B here to get this. Multiply by 10 on all sides to get VTH minus V equals 20 plus 5 times V. Take this V here to get VTH equals 20 plus 6 times V. Awesome. Now consider this node. Assume a current flows at this node from here like this and call it C for now. This same current C will also flow through this resistor, and nothing will go here because this is an open circuit. This is 12 volts. Then giving a commission of 4 times C to this resistor, we are left with VTH voltage. Thus 12 minus 4C equals VTH or C equals 12, minus VTH over 4. Similarly for this side, VTH minus his commission, or 10 times C equals V, and thus C equals VTH minus V over 10. Equate both of them as they are equal to C. Multiply by 20 on both sides to get this. This will become 5 and this will become 2. So we get 60 minus 5. VTH equals 2 VTH minus 2 V. Take this 5 VTH here and 2 V here to get 7. VTH equals 60 plus 2 V. Substitute the value of VTH from here to get this. So, 
This becomes 140 plus 42 times V equals 60 plus 2 CV. This gives 40 V equals 60 minus 140 or minus 80, and thus V equals negative 2. Substitute it here to get VTH equals 20 minus 12 or 8 volts. That was simply mind-blowing. Next, in order to calculate the Venon resistance, short-circuit this voltage, which means make it straight wire. And now we also have a current source, which we will simply make open circuit like this, which means this wire is useless. So we are left with this. This is super easy. See both of them. The 2 ohms and 10 ohms resistors. They are in series, right? So add them to get 12 ohms. Now we have this. If all of these are at 0 volts, this terminal is at VTH volt. Now this is 0, so this is also 0. And if this is VTH, then this is also VTH, which means both these resistors have the same two terminal voltages across them, one side at VTH and the other at 0 volts. So they are in parallel. Thus 1 over RTH equals 1 over 12 plus 1 over 4, or it equals 4 over 12 or 1 over 3. Thus RTH equals 3 ohms. Great. Thus this will be our Thevenin circuit, and the value of the current through this load of 1 ohm will be equal to 8 over 1 plus 3 or 2 amperes, and that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!